Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Six Gear Mechanical University. This is Six Gear Cutlow, and this is a torque wrench. I know a lot of you are like, a torque wrench? What is a torque wrench? And how is it different from any other wrench? Well, a torque wrench is a wrench that comes with different measurement settings, right? These different measurement settings are different torque settings. Basically, a torque setting is the tightness, the tightness or the looseness of a bolt. So the tighter you make it is dependent on the torque setting. So if you have something with a torque setting of 20 foot pounds, then you need to set this to 20 foot pounds and then torque the bolt to the tightness of 20 foot pounds. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do I need a torque wrench when I can just use a regular wrench? I know if the screw is tight or not. As long as it's tight enough, and then I give it a little extra muscle, extra elbow grease, that bolt ain't gonna back out of there. I know, I was one of those guys who thought the same thing. Fortunately, I don't have any horror stories personally, but I know some people that have had horror stories. Let me tell you too, one guy, ended up doing his own brake calipers, right? Adjusting the brakes, maybe changing the brake pads or something like that. The dude ended up over tightening the bolt, broke the bolt, had to take it into the shop. It cost him a lot of money, all right? Another story I know is a guy who might not have had that drain bolt tight enough on that uh, oil change pan, right? And he was riding that bike, that drain bolt backed out of there, oil came out. Luckily, he was okay. But let me tell you something. If that happens to somebody else out there, and y'all guys out there doing squid stuff, going 150 on the highway, doing willies and going crazy like that, and that oil hits that back tire, it's curtains. That's what this is for. This is your insurance. This is to make sure that these bolts are tight enough. This is also to make sure that you don't strip the bolts. Because if you strip a bolt, then you're gonna have to take this bad boy to the shop. Six Gear Mechanical University is not gonna get you out of that trouble. You're gonna have to take it to the shop and get some of those bolts backed out. Yes, they are expensive. A lot of people don't get them for that reason. They are expensive, but you do need them. Trust me, I've been working on my bike for three years and I use this torque wrench and I also have another torque wrench. This is a foot pound torque wrench. I also have another torque wrench, which is an inch pound torque wrench. They make them in different sizes but every single bolt that you see on the bike, if you look in your manual, the owner's manual, uh, and even the, not, not, not just the owner's manual, but the actual service manual. If you look in the service manual, you can find your torque settings. They will show you this, the certain torque settings that you need, especially for axle nuts when you're dealing with tires and stuff like that. Don't have this bad boy tight enough and find out what happens. You need a torque wrench. And in this episode, I'm explaining you how to use it. Bah! There it is. This is the torque wrench, baby. Up close and personal. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to use this. And I'm gonna show you guys in the way that I learned how to use it, all right? To make it real simple. As you can see, these are the different measurements right here foot pounds is the label these are the different foot pounds they go in increments of 10 on this side they go in increments of five on this side what is this here these are your measurements in between the increments what does that mean here we are at zero now we are at oh, matter of fact before we get to that what is this this loosens and tightens whatever this mechanism is called so you can adjust the torque settings so here we are at zero this is what zero looks like zero foot pounds okay this is one foot pounds two foot pounds three foot pounds four foot pounds when this goes back to zero where's that at five foot pounds you see that now if i go back down one that's four foot pounds on that zero is five foot pounds let's continue up that is six foot pounds, cause we're up one, five plus one, plus two, seven foot pounds, eight foot pounds, all right? Nine foot pounds on that four, okay? 
and then when we go to zero where are we at we are at the 10 labeled here 10 foot pounds all right now let's break this bad boy down and use it in its practical form this bike that you see right here let's zoom in let's see let's get a good this bike that you see right here those brake calipers the bolts on those brake calipers call for 26 foot pounds of torque all right so let's back out let's go back to our torque wrench and we'll do this tutorial again let's go back all the way to zero guys all the way to zero here we are at zero if you can see that zero see the zero see the five the 15 25 that flat line right there is when it's going to be at your measurement needed so we'll loosen that up and where are we trying to get to if we look on here we are trying to get to 26 so here's 20 right and here is 25 so we're going to need to be at this one when we pass 25. so let's roll this bad boy up roll it up roll it up roll it up like a filly then we're going to get all the way up to where we at now we're at 20 guys if you can see that we are at 20 20 foot pounds of torque how do we get to 26 we got to get to 25 what's that y'all that's 22 foot pounds of torque that's 23 that's 24 when it gets to the zero that's 25 see that five see that 25 right there all right and it's on zero laying flat on here that's what it should look like 25 let's get to 26 which means we need to go one more and that one needs to be right on that bed see that that 25 and that one is reaching let's solidify right there 26 foot pounds of torque let's use it on the bike all right guys so we got our bolts here All right, guys, so we got our bolts here that we plan to tighten up and make sure that they are at the right torque setting. This is the bolt here to the brake caliper. This is the one that I said calls for 26 foot pounds of torque. We got this bad boy set up and ready to go. We got it ready to go at 26 foot pounds of torque. All right, now here's what it will sound like. Here's what it will look like when you do this correctly okay we got it in there make sure you got this bad boy on Titan all right and we can begin to torque this bad boy down all right feels a little tight here not tight enough You hear that? That click? That means the bolt is tight enough. Let's check this one here. Right on the setting. All right. Now, we can loosen these up. All right. And show you guys again. Rule of thumb is to not use your torque wrench to loosen bolts but i've read that it doesn't do much damage if you're not using it on like a big axle or something like that so for the sake of this video i just loosened it up so it's loosened up let's get back in here and show you guys again hear that that's when you know it is at the correct setting now to me this is like man it could be tighter than that this doesn't feel that tight but you have to be careful with these these bolts are easy to over tighten so it is very important that you have a torque wrench 
All right, guys, this is going to wrap up today's episode of Six Gear Mechanical University. Key takeaways from this episode, the value, the importance of a torque wrench, how to operate the torque wrench. All right. Um, like I said before, over tightening or under tightening could be the difference between a great day and a horrible day. Do not skimp out on these tools. You need them. Yes, it's going to be a little expensive to get a torque wrench. You're going to use it. Do a lot of people use it? No. I went through a whole year, maybe two years without using a torque wrench until somebody really explained the value of it to me. And I'm doing that honor and passing that message on to y'all. Get you a torque wrench. Y'all know how to use it. Come back to this episode for reference. Have one by the next episode. This is your boy, Six Gear Cutlow. This is Six Gear Mechanical University. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. See you on the next episode. Peace.